You hardly said a word all the way back, Sheridan. You gonna be okay? Say something, Sheridan. You're back in that magician's locked box again, aren't you? Isn't there anything I can do to help? Okay, I can take a hint. You want to be alone. It won't bug you anymore. Hank, wait. Please. Don't go. I don't get it. You've hardly said a word from the time we left the lobster shack, and all of a sudden you don't want me to leave? I'm sorry, Hank. Then you're not mad at me? No, not at all. You've been so kind. Thanks for the long drive home along the shore. It, it really meant a lot to me that you were quiet and gave me space. Oh, I just figured Louise had already asked enough questions. It's been a really rough night for me. Well, getting locked in a coffin would scare anyone. Look, you don't have to answer this. But I got the feeling that you being trapped in that box was more than just scary. What do you mean? Well, I mean, have you ever been stuck in a small place like that before? Maybe you're claustrophobic. No, I'm not claustrophobic. Okay. I was just wondering because of the way it shook you up. <laughs> it totally freaked me out. And you don't know why? I mean, did it bring up some old memory of something? Listen to me, Sheridan. No one must ever know about what happened, about what you've done. Never. No one. Why did you ask me that, Hank? Did I say something about an old memory when I was hysterical? It makes you think tonight triggered old memories for me. I'm not sure. I just got the feeling that you being locked in that magician's box reminded you of something in your past. Tell me again, Hank. Exactly what did I say? Well, you kept saying I didn't mean it and it's not my fault. I see. Look, it's over and done with. Forget about it. If only I could. Well, why can't you? I mean, what does it matter what you said? It matters to me. Why? You know, maybe you're right. I'll just... Put this night out of my mind and pretend it never happened. Believe me, if I got locked in some rusty old casket, I'd probably say a few crazy things, too. You're sure that that's all I said when I was locked in the box? You're not keeping anything from me, are you? Scout's honor. What are you so afraid of, Sheridan? What is it that you think you might have said? I'm not afraid of anything, Hank. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't say something embarrassing. Trust me, Sheridan, you didn't. Well, that's something, at least. Finally. I was wondering when I was going to see that beautiful smile of yours again. <laughs> this wasn't exactly the first date you expected, was it? Do you hear me complaining? No, and you've been really sweet, too. But you're still upset, I can tell. Is there anything I can do? No, thanks. Do you want to talk? People say I'm a pretty good listener. Thanks, but... I'm kind of done in. Oh, meaning it's time for me to go? I just hate to leave you like this. I'm fine now, really. You sure? Positive. All right. Well, I'll be going then. I had a great time in spite of everything. I'm glad. I hope we get to do it again. Minus the locked box and minus Louise. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Hank. Good night. Good night. be 
at this hour. Who is it? It's Delore, Miss Sharon. Delore. Thank God. Oh, my poor sweet Sheridan. <laughs> you heard about what happened to me tonight? Yes, I did. I wanted to call you, but it was late, and I was afraid that Luis would be even more suspicious than he already is. He's the one that told you, isn't he? Yes. What did he say, Pilar? Did he ask you about my past? Oh, you didn't worry. I told him there was nothing about your past to concern him. You never lied, Pilar. You told your own son a lie to protect me. I did not lie to him. Luis is the best son a mother could have, but he's also a conscientious policeman. I just didn't tell him what I knew. Thank you. When I was lying in that box, all I could think of was the worst night of my life. I know. I felt like I was reliving every horrible moment. It seemed so real. I am so sorry. Am I doomed, Pilar? Is this night going to haunt me for the rest of my life? Sheridan, that terrible time so many years ago will haunt you only as long as you let it. I don't want it to rule my life. Then you must let go of it. It's time for you to start building a new life for yourself. But how? Perhaps... By finding someone to love. Someone who loves you. Someone who you would like to raise a family with. I've tried. You cannot expect someone to love you if you haven't begun to love yourself. You must forget what happened when you were a young girl. Only a few members of your family and myself know what happened, and we've all been sworn to secrecy. No one will ever tell a soul. I'm afraid that if I stay in harmony, that night will haunt me for the rest of my life. Coming home was a terrible mistake. I should have just stayed in Paris. With that man who only loved you for your fortune? Even a life with a shallow man like Jean-Luc would be better than a life in harmony where I'm being haunted by ghosts. I've got to get out of here. If you run away now, Sheridan, you will be running the rest of your life. But I'm afraid to stay here, Pilar. You can distance yourself from the place, but not from your own fears. Until you exercise your ghosts, they will go with you, Sheridan, wherever you go. How can I get rid of them? You have to face your fears, your ghosts, here in harmony. It is the only way. But what if I can't? You are a very strong young woman, Sheridan. It will take faith and patience, but it will happen. Just as the right man will come along, right here in harmony. I believe it is meant to be. How can I get involved with somebody from harmony? What if he finds out about my past? What if the police discover... Hush. I will not let that happen. Your own son, Luis, is on the police force. He's already begun to ask questions. Do not worry, Sheridan. I will do whatever I must to make sure that your past doesn't come to light. Do you promise? You have my word. No one will ever know what happened. <laughs> 